In this example, we're going to return to the lion threat, but this time we will have two lions instead of one. So recall from this problem that we have a zoo that has an enclosure for lions, and this enclosure will consist of two parts. One is a cage where the lions can rest, and one is the actual enclosure with, where they can stroll around. And this enclosure is a big open field and it is quite hilly, so the keeper will want to have a lamp that says danger when the lions or one of the at least one of the lions are in the enclosure. So in order to realize this, there are two photodetectors, G1 and G2, and the detector will output a 1 if the lion is crossing it, and it will output a 0 if the lion is not crossing the detector. We assume here that the lions are about 2 meters long and these detectors are parted by half a meter. And we also assume that both lions cannot pass the passage at the same time. So in summary this is what it looks like. We have the cage where the two lions can rest and then we have the enclosure where the two lions can stroll around. And we have the two photodetectors which will detect when a lion is crossing the passage. We also have the lamp that says danger if at least one of the lions are outside in the enclosure. So we want to, write, to draw a state transition graph for this problem. And the first thing that we need to do is to try to figure out how many states do we need. Well, obviously we cannot have two states as we could in the case for one lion but we need at least three states because we have the case where both lions are inside the cage we have the case where one is inside and one is outside and we also have the case where both lions are in the enclosure so at least three states are needed so let us try to realize this using three states so what we know is that when a lion goes out into the enclosure we will have the sequence 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and then again 0, 0, and now the lion is in the enclosure. When we go in from the enclosure back to the cage, the sequence will now be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, and then back to zero, 00 when the lion is back in the cage. So let's try to make a first attempt trying to solve this using three states. So we have the states S0 for both lions inside the cage, S1 for one in the cage and one in the enclosure, and S2 for both lions in the enclosure. Clearly, when no lion is passing the photodetectors, we will stay in state S0 and there is no danger. So now when the first lion will cross the first photodetector and we will get 1, 0, what should we do? Well, it is not really obvious, but let us try to go to state S1 in this case. So there we have 1, 0 and now we say that we have danger. Now we need to stay in this state as long as the first lion is trying to cross the passage. So we stay here as long as it outputs uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, and we also have to stay here for 0, 0, because now we have one lion in the enclosure and one lion in the cage. But here it is clear that we cannot do it in this way, because now for all the possible inputs, we are stuck in state S1. So when the second lion wants to uh, pass and we get a 1, 0, he will start, uh, he will continue to be in S1. So we cannot solve it in this way. So we make another attempt, still using three uh, states, but we try to do it a little bit differently. So we have again S0, S1, S2, meaning the same thing as before. And obviously we need to stay here for 0, 0. And now instead of going to state number one, when we have a one zero, we try to stay in state S zero a little bit. And then not until we get one one, now we try to continue to state S one, which means that we need to stay here in S one as long as we have one one and until the lion is finished crossing the passage. So we get zero one 
and then we also get zero zero here so now we have one lion in the enclosure and one lion in the cage now what we have left to define for state s1 is one zero so what should we do with one zero well if the second lion starts crossing the passage then one zero means that we should go to state s2 on the other hand if we are in s1 and the first lion is trying to go back what will happen is that he, he will first get zero one and then we will get one one and then we will get one zero so here we will need to go back when we have one zero and this is obviously not possible because we cannot go both to state zero and to state two when we get a one zero so it is not possible to solve the problem in this way either so let's make a third attempt where we try to stay in the state s zero as long as possible before we move on to state s one so again we will have three states and now when the first lion starts crossing we will stay here as long as we have one zero and we also have one one and not until we have zero one from the photo detectors then we move on to state s1 now we will stay in state s1 as long as the first lion is crossing the second photo detector and we will also stay here when the first lion is out in the enclosure what we have left to define for state s1 is 1 1 and 1 0 1 0 we're going to need when the second lion starts crossing the passage so here we will have 1 0 still danger which means that we can use 1 1 to go back from state s1 to s0 when the first lion starts going back to the cage so continuing with the second lion and in state s2 now the second lion is starting to cross the passage so we are continuing with one zero here where we stay in s2 and then the second lion will continue passing the passage which will give us the following state transitions so again we are back in the problem where all the states transitions in s2 are going back to s2 so the second lion will now never be able to go back or we will never at least be able to detect when the second lion goes back so we can conclude from this that it is not possible to solve this using three states our last attempt with three states was very promising the problem was when we reached the state s2 where we got stuck so let us try to follow a very similar approach but we introduce one more state so we try to solve this using four states instead of three so we call them s0 s1 s2 and s3 and as we did before we try to stay here as long as possible in state s0 so not until the first lion only crosses the last the second photo detector then we will transition to state s1 and now we stay in state s1 until this lion is completely outside in the enclosure so in order to handle the case when the first lion wants to go back we do as we did in the previous attempt we go back when the lion crosses both photo detectors so so far this is good and the only thing we can do here when the second lion starts uh, crossing the first detector is to go to the next state so so far it is exactly the same as we did previously here in the case with only three states what we want to handle now is both the case when the second lion continues out into the enclosure and the case when the second lion decides to go back so if the second lion decides to go back we can do that by saying that zero zero will 
move from state 2 to S to state 1, which means that now we have one lion in the cage and one lion in the enclosure. The second lion, when it continues, we first have continuing with 1, 0, and then also we will have 1, 1 when the second lion crosses both photodetectors. Then, when the lion is completely out in the enclosure, this will happen when the lion now crosses only the second photo detector. And now we stay in S3 as long as the lion is crossing the second photo detector and when the lion is completely in the enclosure. So here in S3 both lions are in the enclosure. And then we will need to go back to S2 when the second lion crosses both photo detectors. The only input combination that we have not handled now is 1, 0 when we are in state S3. But this cannot really happen because when both lions are outside in the enclosure, we cannot get a 1, 0 from the photo detectors. So this graph, this state transition graph, completely solves the problem of describing how we can handle the case with two lions.